Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Now, it's funny because I was about to ask you guys if you guys are enjoying these Monday Motivations and you guys wanted me to keep doing them. But as I was uh, looking at my last Monday Motivation uh, comments at the bottom, um, you literally answered it for me. So I guess I'm going to keep making them for a while because you guys love making them and I love making them for you. So, all right. Today, I'm just running a few errands and... Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me, and we're gonna do this together. Now, I've been, I've been, I've been increasingly getting busier and busier the last uh, several days, uh, several weeks, actually. You know, uh, so if things are a little bit unorthodox on the channel, I hope uh, you guys can understand. But I think for the most part, um, you guys are enjoying the content that's coming with all this hard work um, uh, and all that good stuff. So, all right. So today's episode. All right, hold on. I wrote this down because I completely forgot what I was gonna be talking about because I have so many things in my head. All right, so today we're talking about drum roll, guys. Oh, wait a minute, you guys clicked on the on the thumbnail so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyways, see, perfect. There's no right way to do it, and that's right. There's, you know, darn tootin' there's no right way to do it. The thing is, that's a, what's the right way to you? There's a different right way to do it to everybody. It's as simple as that. You know, like right now, I'm cleaning the camera as I'm speaking to you. You know, most people, not, nowhere nowhere in their right mind would ever, you know, uh, talk like that. You know, whatever, you know, clean their camera as they're talking. Let alone stand on a really busy street and talk and talk to you guys. <laughs> so you can barely hear me. So, and yet, I'm, I'm, I'm having success. And that's the thing, guys. You know, if all of a sudden you do, you do something... You know, you're, you're um, how do I say this? If all of a sudden, you know, the people that are um, the trailblazers, the people that are the ones that are like, oh my God, that guy invented this, or oh my God, that guy, he did it his way. You know, like Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. You know, that whole deal. You know, it's, well, you know, that's the whole gist of it. You know what I mean? They did it their way. You know, when they finally became a success, you know, they were looked on like uh, like trailblazers, you know, like, oh my God, I, I, he, you know, he, uh, he created a brand new way of doing it. But the thing is that, not really, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, most people just, especially these kind of people, you know, most people that real, find real success, they just do shit their way. And, um, and not only are they crazy happy for that, you know what I mean? For the ability to just be themselves and have success doing that, but, you know, to me, that's really the right, that, that's the right way to do it. The right way to do it is to do it your way. And no one really knows what that is. Only you know what that is. And that's the thing, you, you know, no matter who you are and what you do, you're gonna have people that love what you do and hate what you do. And that's the thing. And so, you know, you, you, got, you got to, again, but quiet the noise, you know, shut everybody out that isn't part of uh, your, uh, your dream, your game plan, your what have you, and push forward. And that's about it, you know what I mean? Like really, you know, that it's, it's you know, I'll, it, when I talk about all the things I talk about, you know, on these Monday motivations, it's all, you know, they're all correlated together. They're all one same thing, one same unit of, uh, of conscious thought. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? It's really, you know, you being able to, you know, shut everything out and just being able to do it, you know, do what you want to do. And that's the thing, you know? You, when you are doing you, you're not following society's uh, rules and regulations. And that's where, you know, all of a sudden you start questioning yourself because you don't even know if uh, you're doing it right. But that's the thing. You are doing it right. As long as you're doing you, you're doing it right. Okay. I'm here at um, location number one. So I'm going to stop it here. And then we're going to continue with uh, whatever the hell I wrote in that paper. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back. All right, so like I was saying earlier, actually I have no idea what the hell I'm saying earlier because uh, as soon as I finished um, the first stop, then I had a, I bumped into a friend of mine right before I started recording and he's like, hey, you want to smoke? And I'm like, yeah, let's smoke. And now I just smoked and I literally forgot about everything I recorded and it's already dark. Er. But anyways, but regardless, let's do this. All right, so there, oh yeah, there we go. There's no right way to do it. That's right. That's that's uh, what we were talking about earlier, and that's what we're gonna keep talking about. So, um, 
yeah, you already know what's up. I mean, I'm the epitome of uh, there's no right way to do it. You know, to me, <clears throat> you know, I like to, you know, just do it. You know, that's basically it. It's all about just doing it and not, um, you know, making any more excuses about not doing it. You know, at the end of the day, you know, most people just worry about, you know, are they doing it right or, you know, the perfection aspect of it or just like all this other crap, you know, but the reality is, is that, you know, you know, most people, you know, as they're doing what they're doing, as they're doing uh, what they want to do, all of a sudden, like, this is what I was saying earlier, you know, the naysayers start coming in and they start saying, say, hey, what are you doing? You're never going to get success like that. That's not how to do it. That's not how you get success. That's not the formula. That's not the, the right way to do it. You know, all that shit. And that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the people that listen to that those are the ones that are not a success because they just listen to the first few people that say hey that's not the right way to do it hey what are you doing hey you know like that whole thing and then they just give up but the ones that are literally shutting that off you know the ones that are so oblivious you know to what other people are saying and they just do it all right they just you know they they know they know deep down in their heart they know that what they're doing is the is the right thing to do because they just feel it they just sense it you know what let me go to the market here first you know those are the successes you know those are the real successes all right let's uh go get some onions all right and uh, i'm gonna record this all right so let's uh, have some fun with this all right a little fun adventure all right let's uh switch it up for this monday literally completely forgot um, as I was filming in there um, that the music was playing so I'm sure you guys already saw some other music playing in the background but anyways as I was saying there's no right way to do it you know that's what we're doing today's episode we're just fucking playing it you know by ear you know we're just uh, going ham you know like for real and that's the thing you know there really is no right way to do it it's it's all just you gotta do you and that's the thing, you know, that's what people just keep messing up on. You know, they're always like trying to, you know, f find the blueprint or figure out like, uh, you know, um, how X, Y, Z person did it or how they're doing it. Or, you know, it's just just do it how you do it, because that the whole the whole process of you doing what you're doing makes it unique and then makes you, you know, like everyone wants to be like you type of thing. It's like, you know, that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, don't be like anyone else. You got to be like who you, they got to be like you. And that's the thing when, you know, when you show the world who you are, people realize like, oh, wow, look who that person is. That's super cool. We don't know who that, you know, what, I don't know. You know, and again, I'm just making shit up as I go along right now in today's episode, you know, just to even prove more of a point, you know, that again, it's, it, it's just being you, you're being, when you be, there's only one you. That's the thing, you know, like, um, there's no one else like you out there. And, you know, no matter what you might think, there's going to be people out there that are going to love what you have to say and what you have to do and who you are. And there's going to be people that are going to hate that no matter what. And it's for you to, you know, just quiet all the haters, you know, literally get away from all the haters and just be you, enjoy you, like just do you. And, you know, for reals, that's, that's basically it. All right, all right, okay. We're going to try the... We got round three coming up, all right? We're here at the last stop. All right, so I'm about to go get my stuff, all right? There's music playing in there already, so... And you guys have already seen it. If not, just check out my other video, all right? But I'm going to the convenience store. All right, so now it's a race against time on the way home, hoping that uh, it's not too dark for me to film. But whatever, I'll just use some of those special magic effects. You know, to 
uh, in increase the lights, you know, to make sure that you guys can see my beautiful face and all that. So anyways, so yeah, like I said, you know, like, um, just like Frank Sinatra very famously said, I did it my way. I hope I don't get demonetized for that. I could. I, I was I was watching some copyright videos uh, that YouTube provides, you know, us creators the other day, and uh, yeah, even something like that is grounds to get uh, fucking demonetized. Anyways, so that sucks. Boom, boom, boom. Anyways, but yeah, as I was saying, don't get run over. I wasn't saying that. I was telling you, you know, for you to just you know do it your way. You know, there's no right way to do it, and that that's the beauty of it. You know, there's. You know, there's certain right ways to do certain things. You know, like let's say, you know, um, how did the right? Well, there is definitely a right way to. Um, there's definitely a right way to brush your teeth and a wrong way to brush your teeth, and a right way to drive a car and a wrong way to drive a car. You know, there's a lot of basic, uh, you know, obvious things like that. Um, but, you know, for the most part, when it comes to you know just doing you, you know, just uh, you know, like let's say. Like the YouTube creating of uh, videos that I'm doing. Or if you're starting a new business. Or if you're starting a new anything. Look. You know, one of the people that I'm helping with, you know, consulting on some manners. Uh, you know, they're like, uh, this is an individual that's already out here retired and just doing their thing. And he's like, man, this is so awesome. I love that I'm out here, you know, just like retired and... You know, I got plenty of money to do stuff, and this is just great. I never really wanted to retire. I just wanted to, you know, keep working and doing something. But, man, I can get used to this. And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, trust me. You know, anyone can get used to just sitting around doing nothing. But if you're, like, an individual who likes to work and do their thing and all that stuff, you know, what ends up happening is that after a little while, you know, you yourself, you know, get a little antsy and you start wanting to do something. So I'm like, I what the... So you start, oh man, the music. I hope the music wasn't so bad to distract there. But anyways, um, but yeah, like I was saying, it's like, you know, eventually what happens is, uh, you know, you're gonna get bored and like, you might wanna do something. So maybe something you could do is, um, you know, start doing restaurant reviews, you know, for expats or something, you know? And he's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. And it's like, you know, just because they love going out to rest, you know, he loves going out to restaurants, you know, he's enjoying that whole aspect of it. You know, he, he wants to go to different places all the time, you know, that whole deal. And, um, <laughs> why is he just uh, t stopped? He could have made it. He could have gone through. There was no traffic coming the other way. What was that? Anyways. Oh, was that? I thought he was going to. You know, one second I thought he was gonna blow past it. The second, and then, 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 then he just stops like in a dead stop, and there's no traffic. Anyways, anyways, all right. So like, what? But what I was saying is that you know, I was like, well, you know, when you get bored of that, then you can just occupy your time and occupy yourself, you know, um, by doing reviews. And if you want, I can even help you set that up. And that way, all you gotta do is just write a review every day, and just you know, put it on this platform and blah blah blah. And just like an idea, you know, blah, you know, just just talking to him about. And he was just like, oh yeah, that sounds awesome. That sounds great. That's wonderful. And, and then he, you know, he's uh, someone that you know again already follows me, like you guys follow me, and he already understands the concept of uh, you know a lot of the things that I have to say. Where you know, to him, you know, he's not really worried about you know what people think about his reviews or anything like that. Or in fact, he's more like, oh yeah, people are gonna love my reviews because they're like a different perspective that people don't even you know uh they, 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 that uh that, that is going to attract a lot of other people for very different reasons he's again you know there's one thing a restaurant review coming from a local but a restaurant review coming from an expat an american expat you know to even be more niche and so that's the thing you know like right now you know in the in the past you know I, i'm i'm a guy I'm a guy that I'm so niche that I wouldn't be able to and be you know make it in uh, the entertainment industry or whatever. But now all of a sudden in this new world of niche, which uh, it's like the more niche you are, you know the more the you know the more of an audience and the more um, more you can do with that. All of a sudden, you know, plenty of people out there, no matter who you are, with just a little bit of a niche. You know, you're already killing it and so you know that's the thing you know like now it's like we're living in the world of the individual of the of the beginner of the, you know we're living in, in a brand new world in which everyone has a voice 
and um, that's why I make a lot of these videos because it's like at the end of the day people know that working their dead end fucking shit job is not a voice and it's not a life that they want to live so they're always trying to figure it out and figure out what I don't know you know what I mean like that's what we're always all trying to figure out and um, and that's the thing you know what I mean it's like uh, the, the point is is that we all have a voice you know what I mean like you know one way or the other and it's like you know once we discover we have the voice it's like now you know building up that courage to see if um uh you know that that voice you know um other people want to hear it or if it's a worthy voice to to even you know put out there into the world you know whether the voice comes through music or art or uh what i'm doing or anything you know what i mean i'm starting up a business is a lot of things you know don't ever limit yourself and that's the thing you know like um you know more and more people are discovering these things and like uh that's why now all of a sudden you're seeing like this huge renaissance in uh, you know people doing their own thing and going their own way and figuring it out so you already know what's up we're home all right and look i'm, I'm actually filming a monday motivation on a monday because it's trash day i don't know if you guys can see the trash out there trash 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 no i'm not trash i know you gotta put your pull yourself up right no matter what all right well i'm home guys I'm here, I'm not queer, not that there's anything wrong with that, Seinfeld, anyways, and uh, yeah, that's it, so, alright, we're here guys, alright, that's it, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's Monday Motivation, um, I just pulled it out of my ass, um, I don't even know if you guys can see me, you guys probably can't see me, and uh, I don't know, I think it's a good episode, I don't know, I'll find out now when I uh, edit it, um, if it's short, I'm gonna put a Gary V video, a random one this time around it might not have to, anything to do with what the fuck i'm talking about but whatever how about this um you guys want to see what i bought at the store oh wait i already told you it's just onions and and some sweets all right guys that's it it's time to end it all right so you already know the drill guys i want to give a big shout out to all my patrons all my patrons out there all my contributors all my supporters all my everyone out there all right you guys are all the best i love you guys you guys I wouldn't be doing any of this stuff without you. Again, you guys encourage me. You guys motivate me. You guys help me just as much as I help you. We're always helping each other out. So with that being said, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon. Please stay awesome. Please watch this uh, motivational video to compliment this other motivational video you just finished watching. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned every single day to this channel where i do daily uploads you guys already know this all right i'm gonna get the fuck out of here so you guys can enjoy gary v and get back to work because that's what you should be doing instead of watching me right all right later guys it's impossible to be a human being you won Four hundred trillion to one. When you understand that math, how can't you live your life? That's how rare it is to be a human being. You've been given this ridiculous triple miracle. You've got one at bat, please do something about it. We are living through the greatest era to be alive ever. Yes, there's stuff. I got news for you, there's always stuff. But when you take control of your at bat, when you put it all on yourself, when it's your fault and your wins, when you own it, that's when it starts happening. So please, please squeeze the shit out of your one life. It's impossible to be a human being. You won. I don't know how to get upset after that. I keep shit in perspective. Uh, you know why I'm always happy? I blame myself. When you blame yourself for real, you're gonna always be happy. Because you don't feel like somebody else controls you. This is the reason I'm happy 24-7, 365 for the rest of my life. 400 trillion to one. The odds of becoming a human being. It's, it's about eliminating being at the mercy of anything or anyone. Like, I just don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You gotta start with yourself because when you're actually allowing other people to get in, you're vulnerable. On me, on me, on me. My fault. There's nothing you can say. My big thing is, don't complain. You're in control. 
so many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that just that is just very much human nature. If you're complaining, do something about it. I don't know if anybody knows, but slavery's been gone for a while. Your boss might be the biggest jerk of all time, but guess what? You can go get another job. Right now, wrap your head around this ridiculous gift that you were given. It's called life. You're using your fucking eyes to watch this and your ears to listen. Go step out and do your thing. The one thing you've always wanted to do or the 10, 50, 100 things you've always tried to do. Because the only thing that's keeping you back is the other people that are judging you. And who gives a fuck about them?